everybody, welcome to another reaction. Um, I'm sorry about the sun you're going to see coming through this window. This is the only time I have to film a reaction right now, so hopefully when I put the video in it'll block some of it or hopefully it'll go away while I'm filming this. Also, I hopefully I don't lose light. Hopefully this isn't too dark. Um, but yeah, uh, last episode was pretty interesting concept. I know people said it's um, one of the worst episodes, but I liked it, so I'm curious to see what this episode will bring, so let's get into it. This is Season 1, Episode 9, The Puppet Show. Ooh, I don't like ventriloquist dummies. They're creepy. Learning to love yourself is the greatest Stop. That, that's going to be lovely. But I didn't do the part with the sparklers. Um, we, we'll um, save that for the dress rehearsal. But Lisa, please. Poor Giles. Oof. Principal Snyder. So, mm. we think school events are stupid, and we think authority figures are to make fun. No, no, we don't. Well, unless you do. And we think... Our afternoon classes are optional. All three of you left campus yesterday. Yeah, but we were fighting a demon. Fighting? Not fighting. No, no, we are left to avoid fighting. Real antisocial types. You need to integrate into this school, people. I think I just found three eager new participants for the talent show. What? <laughs> no? Please. He I've seems... been watching you three. Always getting into one scrape. Well, we're... Really, really sorry, but about the talent show, please, you can't make us... My predecessor, Mr. Flutie, may have gone in for all that touchy-feely relating nonsense. But he was eaten. You're in my world now. And Sunnydale has touched, felt, the last time. Can we get Principal Flutie back? Uh, can I just mention that detention is a time-honored form of punishment? I know the three of you will come up with a wonderful act of school to watch. And mock. Well, he's... I don't know how to describe it. No! <laughs> Giles. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't sleep at all last night. All right. Time out. Let's stop it. Let's oh, it's like part of the act. <laughs> Even I can see your next move. Come on, Sid. I'm spoiling my act. I worked on these jokes for weeks. They're all those jokes. My jockey shorts are made out of better material. <laughs> and they're rather bulky. <laughs> can you see? I'm sure you three can come up with something equally exciting. of my dad? Sounds real. It is real. I'm the one with the talent here. Kids, dead wait. How about you and I do a little rehearsing on our own, honey? The heck? You know what they say. Once you go wood, nothing's as good. Okay, Morgan. We get the joke. Horny dummy. Ha ha. It's very funny, but you might want to consider getting some new shtick. Unless you want your prop ending up as a Duraflame log. A cross country meet at Melville. She, she, she's never shut up for it. Vampire? Um, I think not. Giles, share what happened. Her heart was removed. Yikes. Does that mean anything to you? Besides. 
Zeit. Please don't tell me it's the doll. Human. Did I mention that I hate this school? So Emily was killed by a regular human person. The evidence certainly points that way. No. Wait. I'm not buying you guys. Remember the Hellman? Mystical activity is totally right here. This to me says demon. I'd like to think you're right. Demon is a creature of evil, pure, and very simple. The person driven to kill is, is, um, it's more complex. The creep factor is also heightened. It could be anyone. It could be me. It's not, though. Oh, demon or no, we now that would be a twist. I suggest we start. Yes, it could have been me. We can drink. Please don't let it be a demon doll. Chucky used to, like, really scare me when I was little. I think that's why I don't like dolls. Please don't. Hi. Oh, his head's turned. I was just working on growing my voice. Uh, Morgan, did you notice anything weird going on around here yesterday? Weird? What do you mean? With Emily. Did she say anything to you? Was she arguing or anything? No. She was dead. Sid and I were talking. I'm sorry, look, I didn't mean to make you mad. No, I'm... Tim. He's... Oh, no. I don't want to watch this. Oh, scary. He's making him kill. sleep in her bed. <laughs> Why is he on the desk? Oh 
I'm glad I'm watching this during the day. Looks like someone dates you. That's adorable. Why don't they make a tour in the freak show? Okay, hmm. who can tell me how Spain responded to this policy? Morgan? Morgan? What? Morgan has other things on his mind. <laughs> Covered. I, I said you wouldn't be able to speak to Morgan alone, and, uh, well, Morgan's alone, and, uh, sits with me. Hi, Buffy. Hi, Willow. Would you like to hear some off-color jokes? Really don't think you should be doing that. What? Come on. I am not real. Better quit it. He's not real. Shouldn't be doing that. Proves that uh, Sid is wood. Now, why don't you go find Morgan and prove he's whatever he is? Look what I found in the section on toys and magic. On rare occasions, inanimate objects of human quality, such as dolls and mannequins, already mystically possessed of consciousness have acted upon their desire to become human by harvesting organs. That means hot. Morgan's dummy. Mm, don't leave it. Oh shit. Oh no. Still creepy, but... And I didn't because... Because you 
So the dummy tells us that he's a demon hunter, and we're like, fine, la 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 la. He takes off, and now there's a break. Does anybody else feel like they've been kind of associated? This is on a level, I'm sure, but but why would the demon have rejected the brain? I, I mean, I thought Morgan was the smartest kid in school. He was. Look at his grades. All A's. He was even taking college classes. Wait a second. What? All these sick days. He was off for like half the year. Check the school nurses. He's out. had you. In case of emergency, contact Dr. Dale Leggett, California Institute of Neurosurgery, Cancer Ward. Brain cancer. That's why he had all the headaches. Mm -hmm. This means that whatever's out there still needs a healthy, intelligent brain. In other words, I'm safe. And it's going to be looking for the smartest person around. Mm -hmm. It's going to be calibrated for you in some ways, and you could calculate the... Uh... Specific maximum velocity achieved before the point of impact. Gee, Mr. Giles, you're really smart. Could you do me a favor? What could a demon possibly want from me? What's the square root of 841? 29. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Willow. As long as you're with us, there's absolutely no way that demon's going to get what he wants. Oh, my. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's safe. Sure, there's no one else who could help you out. My assistant got sick. You won't have to say anything. I'll, I'll show you. Lie down. Uh, how, how exactly does it work? Your magician never tells a secret. It's it. Come on. Shit. We haven't got much time. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's about to break though. Xander. Still creepy, but sad.
madness and madness and stabbing pain and and uh, oh oh memory of so uh, it'll be crazy. Poor Willow. <laughs> Okay, that was a good ending. That was funny. Man, this show is... <laughs> it gets crazier. What? At first, I was terrified because I hate dolls. Like, I've always been scared of them since I was little. Um, like, my mom or my dad, they got, like, these China dolls for, and, oof, they just... I just like them anyway. Another twist... The doll was a demon hunter? Like, what? Like, once they revealed that, okay, it was funny, but he was still creepy, but... Mm, poor Morgan and the other girl, that girl. And the demon, oof. I didn't even guess it was the magician guy. I mean, I thought it was the principal dude. I still think there's something up with him, but I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah. Another good episode. Like I said, I've enjoyed every one of them so far. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reaction, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.